Jim Coe with you, and there's a lot of stuff for us to chew on here today. How about a victory? It ends the six-game losing streak. It starts there, guys, right? It, no matter what, feels good to get a win. Hey, wins are tough to get in the NFL. I don't care who you're playing. For the Raiders to come out today at home, their last home game, and get a victory, hats off to Dennis Allen and the team, the defense. They played well. They played well enough to win this football game. Yeah, they played a, a really bad football team, but they got the victory. And it feels good not only for that, but to see some production from some new guys. Yeah, well, without a doubt. The two worst teams almost in the NFL got together today, and one team wanted it more than the other, and you saw you saw. McFadden go for 100 yards. I think Goodson had over 100 or right there by 100. So he had two backs with close to 100 yards. That was pretty good rushing the ball. Uh, didn't score in the red zone like usual. Kind of sputtered around there and came down to Janikowski's leg as usual. But, uh, you know, overall, to go out to play a team that you should have beat, a team that you needed to win, a team that's your last home game this year, they went out and took care of business. Now they got ready for two, two more tough road games. All right. Some negative there from Lowe, but mostly positive there from Lowe. I'll give him that. <laughs> and it's good. Oh, with a 15 to nothing win, you would think maybe some good stuff going on in the field. We all kind of think that, but overall, Bill Romanowski, give me your headline. Right there. Boring. <laughs> Woo. I tell you what, I never thought I would say this, <laughs> that winning a game for the Raiders would be boring, but guys, this game put me to sleep. Not scoring touchdowns in the red zone, settling for field goals. Hey, I'm excited for the defense. They got a goose egg on this one, Low. But I tell you what, the game was boring to me. Boring? Boring. It's going to be boring. I got a 100-yard rusher. I got no turnovers on offense. I got a shutout defense. I want to see a touchdown. Boring? Give me a touchdown. Right, come on. Why now. do they call them TDs? I touchdown. Don't know. Is we that didn't what get it is? We TDs? Didn't get, I think we didn't so. Get any we didn't get any at all today. But you know what, no. though? They got the victory. But uh, it was it was born. Like Give me Bill, your. Okay. Bill said, like you said, it was born. But mine, it's got to be Janikowski. That's my. I mean, your order of the black patch. I got to give you the black patch. I got to uh, give it to Janikowski. I mean, this guy goes five for you know five out of six. That's not bad. I mean, this this guy scored every point for the Raiders. You have a kicker scoring every point. Shame on the offense. I mean, it, it, you need to score a touchdown. But hey, you got the W. That's what we wanted to see. The fans needed to see that last home game. Congratulations. He ate his kielbasa before the game. He had his kielbasa. Oh, yeah. Sauerkraut. A sauerkraut. Kabusta. Oh, yeah. Polish power. Polish power on this day yes. for the Raiders. Sauerkraut's kind of bitter, that. though. I don't like that sauerkraut. <laughs> <laughs> I eat it sometimes, but I'm not, big, I'm not big on the sauerkraut. I like it with the bacon in there. And get a little, I like that. That's good. Bacon? I got to throw a little bacon in my Ooh. sauerkraut. I know. I like to mix it up nice. a little bit, guys. All right. Raiders <laughs> getting this victory. Ends that six-game losing streak. <laughs> they now have four wins on the season, and there are a lot of different pieces to the puzzle that we can start to put together. We will let you know that we'll eventually go back to the Coliseum. We'll hear from Kate Longworth. She is there outside the locker room. She'll be inside the locker room as well. We've got our insider, Paul Gutierrez. So, a lot of things to discuss. What direction do you think we ought to go here? Do you want to go with some of the positive? Do you want to go with McFadden? We're going over 100? Let's see his numbers. Absolutely. All right. Well, let's, let's, let's look at D. All right. Then, then Lowe, give me your, give me your let's insight. Let's look at McFadden. And we saw him. You know, he had 30 rushes, 110, yard, 110 yards, only averaging 3.7. You know, as long was 19. So I saw McFadden come out. He was he was hungry today, though. You saw him really trying to get downfield. You saw him even on the sideline arguing, showing some emotion. Well, yes. This guy, you saw him and Goodson. They're kind of competing right now. And I think there was made probably during, during the week like, hey, McFadden, you better get it going. And you saw that on the sideline at third and one. He wasn't able to get it. There was no push up front. They went a little lateral movement there. Really wasn't a good play. Me and Bill thought it was not a design play to really get the first down. Why do it? But he was a little upset by that. Well, they do the next time, though. You, you know, quarterback, he, sneak. quarterback sneak. Next you time know what, guys? Anymore. I think about McFadden right now, and I think he's playing for next year. I think he's playing for this organization to say, you know what, Darren? We believe in you, and you are going to be with Of course, he's going to be with us, but we're going to design our offense around you. The power running game. We may you even fire you an that? offensive coordinator what? because of you. You're thinking that. They may you're, be you're, thinking that. And, and, and you're out you on your skis on that. Well, no, I don't, I don't think so. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I don't know why, wait a whoa. minute. You, you're saying... They're going to change their entire philosophy because they gave the guy 30 carries today. Now, what I'm saying is this is potentially the best football player on this team, and he's got another year on his contract, and you got to say, is this the direction of the Oakland Raiders? Are we going to design our offense around him? 
And I think he's playing Go for ahead. that. Yeah, I, I think something was interesting watching today. We always said, where's Marcel Reese? And Marcel was nowhere to be found. You where know, the only two, yeah. ball, only two guys that carried the ball was Goodson and McFadden. Yeah. It goes to show you, I think that those guys, I think Coach probably said, hey, guys, we want to see who's going to be our bell cow. We need to see which guy's going to make some plays. You saw both of them have some nice, explosive runs. But no Marcel Reese today, so that was going to show you that they wanted to see these two guys who are the game-changer type of back. Both of them can big hit possibilities. Both those guys carried the ball quite often today. Here's the issue I have. They're both the same guy, okay? They're, we don't have a chain mover out of either one of those. We don't have a guy that when you need a tough yard or two, you're gonna put it in their hands and it's an automatic first down. Let me frame it this way. They're big play guys. If I give you a chain mover, can I find room for McFadden and Goodson? Because McFadden is not a 30 carry back 16 times a year. He's proven that. Most he's ever played is 13 games. But if I play McFadden as my main tailback, Goodson is his backup, and I get you a chain mover, am I set at the backfield position? Or is Goodson good enough to be a number one back? No. I, I think that was interesting no. that you make that, that, that scenario, make that point. Because today I thought that you saw some similarities, like you were saying, Bill, in both these two backs. And I think that the coaching staff want to see where they want to go. Are they going to say, are we going to stay with McFadden another year? We know he's only got one more year on our contract. Are we going to be able to afford him after that? Probably not. Are we going to say, is Goodson the guy that we should go with and maybe go get that chain mover, also get someone in the draft, and, and, and see if we can move this team forward? I think they got some tough decisions to make, you know, uh, th tough decisions this Raider organization has to make as a whole, offensively and defensively, to get where they need to get next year. You know, guys, I think more and more, you, you say now in the NFL, it's a two running back league. Well, guess what? It's really not. It's a three or four running back league. The way running backs get hurt and go down, you got to be three and four deep, low. And they really don't have a fullback on their roster. You know, Marcel, they play him at fullback. He's not a fullback. We, he's an H-back tight end. They need to move him to tight end and make a commitment there. And they're basically one running back offense running stretch plays. Um, you know, so they're going to – they need three good tailbacks, and then they need a chain mover. All right, we're going to get to that. I know you, there's something you want to talk about. Let's move to the quarterback, Carson Palmer. It's a 15 0 victory for the Raiders, no touchdowns. Sometimes this season, we've uh, seen Carson Palmer throw the ball more than 40 times in a ball game. A number of times, he's up 46, 48 throws a game. In this game against Kansas City, 29 throws. He had the 30 carries for McFadden. The rating, not very high, but he didn't hurt you with turnovers in this game. So, low. you look at these numbers, 18 of 29, is this more of the range you want to see a quarterback at, 29 I, throws? I think so. I think it is for a couple reasons. Now you don't have to high risk. When you throw the ball, two things can happen. You can get a sack, incomplete, interception, three things. When you run the ball and you keep, keep the, uh, the defense honest, you saw a team today was able to run the ball to keep Kansas City honest, getting third and short, and they were able to convert. When Carson Palmer has time in the pocket and has a go goes along with a good running game, which today they did, he doesn't need to throw the ball 55 times, 60 times, because you've seen the results of that. They usually lost those games when he has to throw the ball 50, 60 times a game. He usually loses. Today was an equal balance. They ran the ball well, and they threw the ball well, and that's why they got that victory today. You know, it was a – overall, it was conservative. They basically came out and said, we're going to pound the football. When you give Darren McFadden 30 carries, Darren McFadden is not a 30 carry a game back. He's a 15, max 20, okay? So, to me, it was a very conservative game plan going in. They just said, you're going to pound the football. We're not going to let Carson Palmer lose the game for us with one bad throw. And that's what he's done over the last six losses. There's been a lot of one or two bad plays that have contributed to the loss. They took it out of his hands. They said, we're just going to run the football and play good defense, win the football game. That's what they did. And when you saw today, I saw Kansas City, a team that had several times to kick a field goal to be in that game to be down by six, one score, go for two. But they didn't want to. You saw this this team saying, look, we're going to go for it. It's all or nothing. It's a feast or famine. They went for it on fourth and three, and then they get offside, so they're fourth and ten, fourth and eight. You usually settle and kick a field goal. You saw a team that really didn't care. They said, we're going to go for it. Then another time, they McFadden fumbled. 
fumbled a ball in a pass. They were inside field goal range already. Both those times, those were two scoring opportunities that Kansas City actually should have put points on the board. They didn't. So I don't think these two teams were playing in different directions, I hang, thought, today. Hang on, Bill. I'll get to you in just a second. Let's make sure we get on out to the Coliseum. We want to set the scene for you because we've got Kate Longworth. She is out there. She's there for each and every Raider game, home and